right, okay, we're ready to rock and roll. <coughs> okay, Tom. Tom no Hurik. I guess Tom uh, Tom Nahurik. I guess is his name. So I'll just call him Tom because that's easier. Well, Tom. Tom here has made a sort of a kind of interesting point that to leave a bookmark or something like that. Um, Well, the only way I, I uh, so anyway, what about the bookmark? Well, Tom, there's a, a workaround that you can use, which I tend to think is, is quite um, effective, right? So I've, have I got e sort up and running? No, I don't. So let's... I'll get rid of that. That, that. That's all done. So, what I will do... Right. So, let's look at what can be done. I haven't got eSword up and running. I, I thought I'd just shrunk it, but I must have exited it out. So, la da da ba do we're waiting. Moments later, moments later, moments coming later, moments later, moments later, moments later. Yes, we're up and running. Praise the Lord. Okay. So we want the reference library thingy, right? So we'll click on that. And just for the purpose of the exercise, you're reading uh, Jacob Garten, uh, Gart. Garten House says book on the influence of Jews upon civilization in you started reading reading uh, Jewish citizen the chapter called uh, Jewish citizen chapter four okay that should be chapter four Jewish citizens but anyway that's the way it, they've got it so you're reading this incredible book and you and you got to go out, something like that, and and let's just say you read up to here. Now the one thing about this here, Tom, is it stays on the chapter where you finished off. The volume that you've read and the chapter you've finished, it stays there. Interestingly, if you're reading a topic, a third party uh, topic note file, and I'll go to that later. It does pretty much the same thing. It will stay at the chapter where you've left off from, right? And some chapters are really, really long, and that you've got a long way to go. And say so you got up to about onto this paragraph here, and you're ready to read the next parag uh, paragraph. And so what you do best tip that you can do is just do a highlight on the first word or first couple of words there and on the highlight there just highlight it right like so some in it choose your color whatever you want and just highlight the first couple of words of the paragraph that you're going to read from or alternatively the last couple of words to where you finished off right and that's the next paragraph that you're going to read whichever way you want to do it so that sort of kind of bookmark so right okay you got to leave and you got to go so you e-sort, you exit e-sort out. And say in about a couple of days later, you come back, flick on e-sort. Yeah. We're waiting, we're waiting. Moments later, moments later, we're waiting, we're waiting. Moments later, 
moments later, waiting still, waiting still, moments later. Are we going? Ah, here we are. After a few moments later, we are ready to go. So you come back to a, into a sword and you want to continue reading. Alright, so what you do is you flick on his sword. There. Well, what do you know? There it is. It will stay. I can't believe it. It stayed there. That stayed there. So basically, that's where all you need to really do. If it stays there, Tom, you don't have to have a worry at all. I hope this helps you. Don't even need to worry about this bit here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, actually, leave, uh, leave it there. No, you leave it there because you don't know, so you can remember where you left off, where you got, got to start from or from where you left off, okay? So you do that, you shouldn't have a problem. And then once you don't come back, then what you simply do is you go highlight it. There. Now, click on that because that clears the highlight. And that, and so you continue on like that. Um, it doesn't matter where you go. Um, where you are in a book, or even in the volumes, the last one always, the last one always is what comes up next, right? The last, the pr the chapter that you're currently in always comes up and the window here stays basically where you've left off from so still basically starts up where you've left off from so yeah and then all you need to do is once you've finished a particular sentence or paragraph even if you're right in the middle of the paragraph and you've finished off say down here right just highlight we got to stay, start off again, just highlight that, so you know exactly where you are at, where are at, and then your home and hoes. So I think that about, that's about the only uh, tip that, that I can, I suggest that you can do. You don't have to, um, Oh, here we are. You don't have to look for where you where you are at so much so, but the reader will. It works the same thing with um, your study notes, your topic notes, and probably your journal notes as well, right? So I think if I go up to here, say for example. That's where I'm at, right? I don't have to do. I just leave it on the topic note, right? This I and 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 so I don't want to go any further than that. I leave this one here off, so it doesn't sink all over the place, and I don't have to leave it. It works exactly the same way like that, and then you just have to cook, have to go somewhere, and you exit your sword couple of days later come back to wanting to, to do it again I mean stand up here we go we're there I know but the note editors go right back to the top so, but so that only works. But um, if the sink is off, it stays where it is. That's right. So you can do uh, sort of similar to that. Um, the um, commentary is different, but with um, with your reference note, with your reference. Uh, library book thingy here it stays where it is and all you need to do is go back to the highlighted place that you 
put the highlight in to where you left off or want to start from, then you should be home and hose. I hope I hope that this ha has helped you, and uh, praise God for that. So on that note, I'll let it go. And go. Bye-bye. Bless you heaps.